So once again, another show, and I'm still learning how to go. What? No, that rhymed. Um, yeah, so uh, we're on YouTube, but nobody can see us. But that's OK, because <laughs> they can hear us. At least that's the theory. I just need to check a few facts and figures here. Yes, they can hear us. They can't see us. Well, they don't want to see us. Why would no. they want to see us? Why would they want to see us? I don't know. We're an ugly bunch. Anyway, uh, oh, Peter May has arrived. That means we can start. So I know it, I now know it's working. So let's crack up the thing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're live on YouTube, and it's lovely to uh, to be here, isn't it, Julia? It is. The lovely Julia is with me this week. We're back in the studio. We're slightly cramped, ladies and gentlemen. We are slightly cramped in here at the moment yeah. because there is a large box. We will get to that in a second. I just want to make sure everything is working and that people can see us. Now, uh, I also need to show Julia how the new pop out doodah works who's the lovely julie by the way the lovely have i put julie no you didn't oh oh that's all right thank god for that um yeah so here's the lovely uh, here's the here's the pop out business the... oh yes that's something i keep meaning to point out cheryl says need to change the intro card because it says um on facebook and blah 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 Yes, I do. I need, and also I need to set, stop it from saying Mondays and Fridays. There, that's you also said that. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I, I just lazy, just lazy, ladies and gentlemen. Lazy, hazy, crazy, and phasy. That's me. That's something I could have done today instead of just cleaning out the drains. Hey, smell my hands. Anyway, I haven't really been cleaning out the drains. I've been very, very busy doing thumb twiddling, arm twisting. That's wrist moving and um, anyway, hello and welcome on YouTube. It's great to see everybody out there. Let's see who's there. Peter May is there, Linda Cadman, Robert Croser, Cheryl Craggs, Kevin's Rambles. <laughs> I guess that's Kevin Hall. Kevin here. Hello. Uh, Anne Osborne, Laura Riddle, Cynthia uh, Walder. I have to, because the thing about YouTube is if you've signed up your thing in a name that you do like Kevin's Rambles that's all we see so we have different. to do a bit of detective it is very so different is that then? Claire Leach or Claire Elizabeth as she now is uh, David Kitchen Judith Oakley uh, lovely to see you there we are evening all they're saying evening all thank you very much now um, your microphone is over here which is a little bit of a Hello. distance just making sure that we can hear the lovely Julia hold on one second can you just say a few words for the people at home. A few words for the people at home. Right, I'm just going to turn you up a bit. There we go. Uh, hopefully that will uh, sort that bit out. So, ladies and gentlemen, hang on, Mo. Where is... How do we get in there again? It's all new. I know, it's all new and um, it's fun. Today's show is a What's in the Box special. And what's special about What's in the Box is we've got two videos to play in as well. One from the lovely Cheryl Craggs. Hey! And one from the uh, not quite so lovely but also nice, um, what's his name? Steve Pilfold, who can't be with us today. He's just as lovely. He is just as lovely, but um, he's a man. True. But yeah, to, to, I'm just saying, well, I, I've He's been, not the glamorous Cheryl. That's what I was trying to say. He's yes, not the okay. glamorous Cheryl, but he is the handsome Steve. He has the handsome tra tra train, train. Train driver's Direct, arms. No, train directing. No, train directing leg. Oh, I was thinking of his signals, you see. <laughs> He's in there doing his... Yeah. His, his, it isn't, isn't that technically directing the train? It is directing way, them, yes. kind of. And if cue the trains. It. That train first. No, 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 no. Start again. You were too soon. You're back. Roll back a bit. That's it. And you, sir, please don't pull the emergency cord because that's attached to the toilet. Right. OK, let's get the trains. I already trains. On your marks, get set, wait for it, go. <laughs> Is that what he does? <laughs> I think that's what he does. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having a cup of tea. Whew. And it's what hot. lovely tea. It is hot, actually. Sorry Is there about any that. sugar in that? Yeah, there's two of them. Did he get much stirring? Uh, do you want a pen to stir it with? Add a push, I suppose. Push. A push comes to 
shove. So, uh, Claire Leach, I'm only Claire Elizabeth on Facebook, she says. All right, fair dues. Claire Leach says, hi, Peter. Eek, says Cheryl. Oh, eek for being glamorous. Well, well, no, no, no. Eek for having her video on, I oh, think. Oh, eek I for... Think. Glamorous, lol. Yes, glamorous. Yes, if, glamorous. If I'm, if I get called glamorous, then then you're definitely glamorous. Don't yes, you? absolutely. Definitely. We only have glam people on this show, you know, uh, and me. So you know. <laughs> you're glamorous. <laughs> I'm glamorous too, apparently. It's the golden in a boldy way. In a what? In a boldy way. In a boldy way. Yes, I wonder what way that is. Uh, probably best in a box. In a shiny peat way. Oh yes. Talking of boxes, though. Box. We have a big box. Jeff Killison. Killison? Killiston. Killis, kill us somebody. Uh, Jeff. Kellison. Kellison. No killing in this show. Yeah. Has sent in this. You can just about see it in the corner of the screen. There. It's so just big. About. This is why poor old Julia has been shrunken. Like one of those shrunken heads that you get in Africa. Didn't think I could get much smaller. No, but they shrink, you know, the Africans. They're nice people, but they do shrink their heads. They've got very large shoulders, which makes their heads like a little peanut. <laughs> An amusing, an amusing thought there, though probably not PC. Anyway, I'm looking at my PC, waiting for the PC police to arrive. It'll be in the guise of PC plod. Anyway, enough of the uh, uh, PC stuff. Let's move it on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, you were going to say something. Uh, you forgot how mad this show is, didn't you? I forgot how mad you are. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm on a world of my own. Anyway. Um, as mad as me, but in a different way. Yes, yes. In a, in a less coherent way, I am. Um, right, what so Voodoo say? says clearly. Yes, Linda Cam, looking for the, forward to Sunday, Richard. Yes, looking forward, Linda, to Sunday. I do this long drive down to Pevensey. And then to Cornwall. What's in the box? Jeff Kelliston has sent this Kellison. box. Kelliston. Lovely man. Sent this box. Huge, great box from America, ladies and gentlemen. Pack is so heavy that we've had to get a JCB in here on a crane with a, a pallet lifter, commonly known as a forklift, to bring it onto the desk. You're giving them one of those stairs, aren't you? Yeah, well, if you, uh, if you carry on like that, your nose is going to knock me off my chair when you turn around. <laughs> Boink. Soggy. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do this very special what's in the box. I can tell you there are various items in the box and I Ooh, have clues. Various. Yes, very. Now the trouble is knowing which one is which and finding it to reveal. So I'm going to start this off because this might take some time. Uh, there's six items. So that's one, two, you get the idea. Six items. Oh, Robert Crosser says roof tiles. The Yanks always do things bigger. <laughs> In uh, reference to the um, the Roman. Oh yes, yes, of... yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like wee little tesserae. Yeah. Uh, from the Romans down on the little, you know, that the lovely Elaine Brazier sent in. The Americans have sent in a massive big box with, as. I'm explaining the joke. Don't need to do it with roof tiles. Right here is a here is a hint for number. Here is a hint for the first item, which your task is going it's to be to it. actually find the correct item. Because all I have done, ladies, I have not even looked in. I have undone this bit, and then there's some brown wrapping paper. I don't know if you can see that there on the top, and then the items are beneath it. And it's Julia's job to fish them out, so uh, we don't know how that's going to look. Uh, I don't suppose I really need that screen. Up. Hang on, I can do this so we can see us in real time. Hang on, and I can put that there. And then that way you can see things a bit clearer. Uh, Darren Roberts says, Dendy, says it won't, it won't be think because that's outside the box. Yeah, <laughs> very good. It won't be think. Do you get it? Yeah. Right, item one. Here we go. Here it is. Uh, uh, my favourite book by an author best known for Blue Highways. Now, he doesn't mean my favourite book. This must be Jeff Kelliston's book. Have I got that right Close again? enough. Kelliston. Kelliston. Sorry, Jeff. I keep getting your name wrong. It's, but... Yeah, I'm sorry. You're not special in that. I'm sorry. You're not, no, no. I've got everybody's name wrong at some point. Uh, as for Kevin Hales... Um, Who's he? Kevin Hall. Oh, yes, Kevin Hale. Uh, Had me thinking for a second there. <laughs> right, so that's it. Well, that's very difficult because um, 
I don't know what his favourite book is, but the author is best known for Blue Highways. So if anybody knows who wrote the, the book Blue Highways, you're on to a winner because it's probably a book by the same author. Probably. But we don't know what that is. So that's, uh, that is the first item. And I think whilst you're guessing on that, we should watch one of the videos. Yeah. So let's uh, let's run. Uh, yes, Kevin's ramble's got a thinking emojis come up. Ke um, that's Kevin Hale. Uh, no, Kevin Hall. Sorry, getting it wrong now. Let's watch uh, the lovely video from the delightful and glamorous Cheryl. I've just got to find it. Here we ah. go. It's a vobing report, ladies and gentlemen, based on Eat for England. Ooh. Hello. So we've me and the gang, we have come out. He's off <laughs> on a rainy day for a walk. We had a rumor about something very special hidden in a field. Look at these fields, there's beautiful flowers everywhere. So I'll let you in on the secret when we find it. found in the middle of a field in Northumberland. It's a massive spoon! Because, yeah, why not? So it's a piece called Eat for England, created by an artist called Bob Budd in 2006, a lottery funded campaign to get people out and about in the countryside and walk. Wow, what about that? That was lovely. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Cheryl. That was really... Cheryl. 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 You said it right the first time. I got confused. <laughs> it's all these names. That was really lovely. And uh, what an amazing thing. A giant spoon. Uh, I want one of those. I want a giant something. What can I have? A giant... Not a giant fork. A giant knife. No. 
I'm worried where he's going to go with yeah, it. Yeah, well, I, even I don't know where I'm going to go with that. That's amazing. That is amazing. Isn't it? Coming across that. Uh, did you know it was there when you set off or did you just happen to stumble across it? Love to know. Uh, send us uh, a, a bit of cutlery and write it on the back of it. Uh, Maggie Walters. Hello, Maggie. She's able to watch us now for the first time live. Live. Because she's no longer on Facebook, uh, and if I could get off that, I would, but I have to be on it. Um, and she's watching live. So, Maggie, so nice of you to come along. And it's it, here we are embracing the tube of views. Yes. So, brilliant. Embracing. Embrace, embrace. <laughs> you will be embraced. Big damn, embrace me. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. Has anyone else noticed how many walkers, hikers there are these days? Yeah, it does seem to be a lot, says Kevin Rambles. Uh, he does ramble on about it and he rambles as he walks, which is nice. Um, so there we go. Uh, music is from YouTube Creators Library, says uh, Cheryl, Cheryl, if you are uh, noticing. Oh, she says she knew what she was looking for. So. Oh, she knew. Oh, you. Uh, yeah, that was that was that was good. Well, I mean, you started the video and you did say you're, there was going to be a surprise. And by golly, by Bingo. It was a surprise. Surprise, surprise. What a surprise. Oh, no, she's dead now, isn't she? Um, We've got a new new person join us. Oh, yes. Barb, how do you pronounce that? Barbara. Barbara Charles. Charles. Yay, I'm live. Hello, Barbara Charles. This is the snag with YouTube. Sometimes, um, as I said earlier, you know, the name of your channel comes up, not your person. So if you want to remind us who you are, do put your name after the channel or something. Um, or type it in just so that we go, oh, yeah, that's it. That will really help because uh, we rely a lot on you and the feedback. Now, talking of feedback, how are we doing with this? Let me read this one more for those people. We've got a big box. This What's in the Box been sent in by Jeff Kelliston, who's a lovely bloke. He's been a supporter of the show for a long, long time. And he's has uh, his first one is a hint. His favourite book by an author best known for Blue Highways. And actually, somebody's already got a, a, the right answer. Oh, uh, have they? Yes. I can't remember who it was. Somebody was very quick on Google, scroll, I should think. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scrolling back, scrolling back. Uh, Dean Cooper had it here, uh, as well as... Oh, Jeff um, himself. No, that's that's the name of the um of the author. No, here. Yeah, 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 yes. That's the name of the author, he said. Oh, that's the name of the... Not the name of the book he's after. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So sorry. Oh, Jeff, it's so good that you're there. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> yes. Kellison. So, Kellison. That's uh, right. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Well, probably Kellison. You know, got to put on a bit probably of a... with a better American accent. Well, with a better American <laughs> accent. I can't do American accents. Yeah, so it's great to see I you there, Jeff. I could do an English accent. Honestly, if I try to do any particular area in England, I switch between all, like, 42 of them. I know, but I... I don't g- know how many accents there I, actually I, are here. I, but... I give it a good try. And fail miserably. Anyway, uh, I'm so pleased to see that Jeff is out there because now that we're on YouTube, it's slightly different to Facebook. You can't really see who's just joined. How are you feeling? Hot. Hot. Poor old, uh, just uh, as a by the by, poor old Julia. For those that don't know, she is... Six months pregnant. Six months pregnant. I'm going to have to get that. And uh, she's not been feeling terribly well in the last few weeks. And um, as a result of that... T-shirt. She might have to, she just said to me whilst the film was playing, she might have to leg it to the bathroom uh, because the baby is moving about and pressing on the bladder a lot. Yeah, I'm not one of these lucky women who sail through it with nothing. Tell me about it. When I was pregnant hey. with my three, uh, I know, I, I don't when think... When you were pregnant <laughs> with your three, <laughs> yeah, it took, took you a few hours. It took, it took a moment. <laughs> anyway, so, Jeff, I'm so pleased you're there because here is your box. You know what's in the box. We don't. I've got a list. I actually do got the answers, so that's quite handy. You do got the answers. <laughs> I can't speak English these days. Uh, my favourite, so we must crack on with this. My favourite book by an author best known for Blue Highways. Has anybody got an idea what that book might be? We're, we're uh, scanning. We're scanning down to see. Um, nobody's got it, but I think we should reveal what it is. Um, so, it's... Uh, Gonna be here. It's a book. Big hug for Maggie. Big hug for Maggie. Called River Horse by a chap called William Least Heat Moon. Now there's a name you that, don't know. That's a name and a half, isn't it? Uh, William Least Heat Moon. I could that, do with Least Heat. 
least <laughs> least he that's a very odd name do you think that's his real name or is that a, a non diplume that he uses for books it, jeff it almost sounds like a pagan name it, yeah it uh, it's almost maybe it's um it's well it's america maybe it's a native american's name oh yeah see genius aren't you yeah the old brain you know so the the big job now uh julia is you've got to go fishing (gasps) in the box and see if you can find a book by william least heat moon but don't bring out uh, the wrong book because there is a there's another book in there and that will ruin the next clue so it's very good if anybody wants to send in a what's in the box you don't have to quite go quite as mad although it's very much appreciated jeff uh, to this um, thing, because this must have cost an absolute fortune. Wow. Uh, oh. Wowing. Yeah, yeah, there's um, some nice books in there. I think, yes, this is it. River Horse, here we go. Show it, show it up to the lovely people. Look at that. So, uh, do you want to read what it says on the back? Just a bit of it, if it gives a bit of the story, just because this is really interesting. In his most ambitious journey ever, William Least Heat Moon sets off abo- aboard a small boat named Nikawa, ri- or River Horse in Osage. I don't know how to actually pronounce that. Um, it's um, a Native American tribe, though, you're right, of oh, course. Oh, cool. From the Atlantic at New York Harbour, in hopes of entering the Pacific near Astoria, Oregon. He and his companion, Pilotis, struggled to cover some 5,000 watery miles, often following in the wakes of our most famous explorers, from Henry Hudson to Lewis and Clark. En route, the voyagers confront massive floods, dangerous weather, and their own doubts about whether they can complete the trip. But the hard days yield up incomparable pleasures, generous strangers, landscapes untouched since... Another one I can't pronounce. Sakagawi saw them. Um, Riverscapes... Sounds, I was going to say, it just sounds like us making one of our videos <laughs> with, you know, all that danger and landscapes and nice people and, and all that kind of stuff. Riverscapes flowing with a lively past and the growing belief that efforts to protect our lands and waters are beginning to pay off. Teeming with humanity, humour and high adventure, River Horse is an unsentimental and original arteriogram of our nation at the millennium. Wow. That sounds amazing. That does sound amazing. How big is the print? Oh, golly, lots of <laughs> lots of words. Uh, here we go. Look, I'll read you a, a, an, an extract um, from the middle of the book, just so you get an idea. Is it? I guess he's American, isn't he? <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't say. Our route drawn across a map of America strangely reflected, reflected the southern border of the United States from Florida to California. And we were now at the most southerly point, the place glaciers reached deepest into America. If you speak of up north as, if, sorry, if you <laughs> if you speak of north as up and south as down, then we were as down as we'd get. I think you've got to have a bit of a gravelly voice to read this. Anyway, no, that's brilliant. Uh, thank you so much, <clears throat> Jeff. I hope you don't want these things. You. Yeah, I hope you don't want these things back by the way but that sounds like a really good read it does so anyway you get on with the show and i'll have a river horse is hippo isn't it is it a hippo I a, river horse. a river horse well i'll shove it there the uh, latin name for hippo is river horse anyway anyway uh let's do another one let's do another thing here so item number two ladies and gentlemen see if you can guess this an item though be one-eyed kenobi said he wanted during the show after mr suggett Helped install the Essie. Hmm. That's a goodie. Intriguing. Uh, uh, so, in other words, something I wanted, I mentioned in the show after a Richard Suggett helped install the Essie, which was golly, that was back in October, November time. Yeah, that's quite. Some, that that was. That was a while ago. If anybody wants to have a guess, uh, not many pictures then, Richard. Yes, no, not many pictures. Thanks, Linda. Uh, not many pictures. I have to read the actual words. <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky lady. Um, Mark Selwood says, uh, hope you're well, Maggie and Robbie. Robbie, It's nice to see you. Uh, we sadly said goodbye to Dottie. Yes, that was very Gorgeous sad. little doggy. Lovely Dottie. little Dottie. I got to meet Dottie. Did you meet Dottie? No, I never met. I met Dottie no, in a no, pub. I, I met, I met um, Rob and 
and yes. Maggie, but I didn't meet Dottie. Uh, well, the thing was, so I mean, I, I could tell that Dottie was on the way out because the amount of alcohol that they were feeding Dottie, they were going, come on, Dottie, have another one. Ruff, 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 ruff. Go on, this is your 16th pint, but you know you like it, Dottie. But they've got a new energetic puppy now. Yes, and they've decided not to drink it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not to dr- feed it. Drink, any kind of drink, water, bubble and squeaky, um, cheese, any any sort of liquid. Do you know, I think the viewers need a button to press from yeah. home that yeah. would give you a big smack on the yeah. head. We're going to install a like button that makes me... Mousetrap style hand. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh! Hey there. You, schlimping. Schlimping slipper. Yes, schlimping slipper. Uh, Linda Kane says, have you opened the envelope I sent? Yes, Linda Kane. Linda Kane, let's do that. Here we are. Postcard from Linda. Uh, nice postcard here of a scene, I think, uh, if I mem- if my memory serves me right, I think it's of the 11th century St. Leonard's Church in the hamlet of South Stoke, but I might be wrong, by Chris Clark in 1980. You might be wrong, but the writing there isn't. No. Um, Julia's going to read it out, and then I shall produce the object... Was, she says, yes. Hi Richard, I don't think you believed there was such a thing as the enclosed on your show last week. Uh, sadly, I will miss this week's as I'm away in Staffordshire. I'll watch it, I'll watch it later. Take care, Linda. Linda, I was in Cornwall the, the week that week. Last that, week, yeah, that so you missed it, anyway. Yeah, so, you know, so this was two weeks ago and it did arrive in the post. I've put it into this studio here so oh, yeah. uh, we can see what it is. And uh, I don't think I... I think you made reference to it. I made you? reference to it. And uh, you, do you want to show the lovely viewer? It's Nobby's Nuts. Nobby's Nuts. Nobby's Nuts. I've had a good feel of not. I mean, um, <clears throat> I would like to... Steady. Steady. Uh, sweet chilli. That's right up your alley, isn't it? Is it? I like sweet chilli. Yeah. Sweet Shall we chili. open it up then? Have yeah. a try. Do you I, like... I won't be having any. You won't be having any? She... Poor old Julia's not into... Uh, uh, um... It's sweet chilli though, so it's not too hot. Yeah. So here we go. Nobby's Nuts. I don't know that I've ever had Nobby's Nuts before, but uh, Nobby, if you're watching, I, I hope the Ooh. operation was a success. Oh, oh. crikey. <laughs> I just spread them He's got a the lot table. of nuts, hasn't he? That Nobby. Anyway, here it goes. A little taste from me. So, what are they? They're peanuts in, encased in a shell of something. Yeah, that's right, because I, I was talking about... Um... Well, they're not that... They're not too strong. No, they're not. Hmm. Have some more. After having a tiny, tiny piece of one, it's not. I'm not going to gobble them too much in the show. Some more. Mm. No, Help yourself. Because I'd mentioned the um, a, 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 similar, a similar kind of nut in the bars that I, the bars that I used to work in. Um, Savannah. Wh- where nuts. are you going? Who's nuts? Don't worry. Mm. It doesn't matter. But yeah. Hmm. They're very nice. Thank you, Linda. That's very kind. If anyone else wants to send in some nuts. For us to sample, you're very welcome. Ah. Ah. Hmm. That was a hot one. They always stick a special one in. When Julia and I went to uh, Barbados, oh. no, it wasn't oh, Barbados. Chance to be a fine thing. Where was it? We went to Glastonbury. We had this meal. A bit different. Uh, <laughs> it's very similar, really. Uh, we had a meal in a in a curry house. And on this meal, I had a, 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 a chilli thing. It was very mild chilli. You had a, a korma or something. Is that in your way? You can He's turn touching it. me on the shoulder. I'm like, what? Like, what? who's there? What? Anyway, <laughs> on this plate, there came another chilli um, thing, like oh, like a garnish. Yes. And um, I'd eaten the chilli. Most and the ch- people would eat around that. Mm. But I thought it's garnish. You know, just the, the chillies in it weren't very strong. So I put this into my mouth. <laughs> and for the next seven weeks, I was in intensive care. I wish I'd taken footage mm. of you. Uh, yeah, because you could have played played it in, couldn't you? It would have been. Amazing. It would have been fun. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Maggie's saying the puppy is teetotal. Well, I'm very glad about that. Actually, what's useful with a teetotal puppy is if you get a big bowl of hot water and dip it in like that, lets the flavour flood out. You can have a nice cup of tea. Uh, Claire says something. It just being pinged past. <laughs> Claire says, where's she gone? Um, I hope you have a full itinerary for Mr. Vobes, Mark. Oh, yes, because uh, Sunday I'm coming down to see, uh, well, I'll be down in the area, and then Monday morning it's over to Mark Selwood and me 
to make some videos for you. I'm hoping the weather is going to be all right. It's going to be grim if it's not. Touch wood. But Mark says he has a few ideas when he's down next week. He just needs to consult with me. Well, we're going to have a we're going to have a a meeting, a meeting of minds. I want to go to that Cairn Bray. The book you sent me, I've been reading some of that. It looks, sounds really interesting. Sounds like we could make 24 videos just there, just climbing up one side of that little mountain thing. Anyway, Andy Joy's got a message retracted. Don't know what that means. Don't know why he bothered me. We're waiting here for the Bald Explorer meetup that we can come to. Yes, we're all going to come up to Herefordshire, uh, which is a sheer long way for us to go, but uh, it will be worth it. I don't know when we're going to do that. The Vedgrove podcast has arrived, which is Richard Suggett which is nice to see him. And uh, George's Railway videos. Don't forget, that's George Timpany. And Tim he, Purley. Tim Purley and his timpani set. He always does that when he's pretending to be a train. Right. Uh, I'll post myself then, says Robert Crow. Said, no need, I'm coming up to see you in a couple of weeks. So it's all good. Right, here we go. So an item, Voby One-Eyed Kenobi said he wanted during the show after Mr Suggett helped install the SE. No guesses on that one. I don't know what, well, I kind of got what it is. So this is what you're looking for. Oh! Which I'm I'm very excited to see what this is, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely Julia delving into the box now, finding out what's in there. What's in the box, boy? What's in the... Oh, wow. Look at that. Gosh, you're so kind, Jeff. What is it? It looks amazing. From the, the wood-fired oven. New and traditional techniques for cooking and baking with fire. That is amazing. From the wood fire... Open up. Let's have a little gander in there. This is really... It's like Christmas. Beware of over fire, fuel it's, and combustion. So there's a little bit of information... Lots, on, lots of, of information about the actual fires and, and stuff. Oh, yeah. bre. I'd, I'd like to try the SE out on some recipes and things because it is a, it, it is a unique thing. Pizzas. Oh, yeah, pizzas. Getting the hang oh, of the heat. You, you're that right. chilli is still playing on me. Oh, blimey, I'm so soggy. Here, pack <laughs> a bucket of water on you. Fermentation, useful conversions, regular, regular maintenance, maintenance, a liquid sourdough starter. A what? A liquid sourdough starter, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, 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 because the sourdough starter, you... you, you... So sourdough's a weird thing, isn't it? Where you've got... Oh, I see. And to then start... you keep oh. growing it, and then you... But you keep... The... I don't really get it. I but... thought that meant like a soup, you know, a starter oh, a for starter a meal no, no, made no. of sourdough. That's what I thought. I'm going to sneeze again. Oh, that is a lovely book. Yeah, well, what about that, ladies and gentlemen? Worth it. That's by Chelsea Green Publishing. And uh, that, is a, that is a beautiful book. Thank you so... Oh, look, here we are. I've got a feeling you're going to enjoy looking through that. I am. And not only that... I'm gonna. We're gonna get. We're gonna get cooking on some of that in Vogue shows, and we'll we'll do some fire wood oven cooking with fire and That's an oven. Royal we. It's probably gonna be more likely to be sugget, isn't it? Well, yeah. you possibly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm quite happily. Yeah, cook with you. you're a good cook. Right. Let's do uh, question number three. After we've heard from the very lovely Steve Pilford, because Mr. Pilford wants to remind Pilfold. us of something. What? Pilfold. That's what I said. Steve Pilchard. He <laughs> wants to remind us of Richard Loeb's. Yes, Richard Loeb's. He's sorry, Ricard Loeb's. <laughs> yeah, Dickie Vobez and the Vobets. Anyway, here's Steve. Hi there, everyone. Steve Pilfold here, and I just wanted to, to remind you that this Sunday, the second of June is the uh, Bald Explorer Group Walk at Pevensey Castle. We're going to be meeting up, taking a little stroll around Pevensey Village, out around the back of the castle and then out onto the levels around Pevensey before looping back to the castle after about three miles or so and finishing off there. We're meeting at 10.30 at Pevensey Castle Car Park, so I hope that I'll be able to see as many of you as possible there. Sorry, couldn't make the Vogue show tonight because I'm at work. So this seemed the best way to remind you all, 10.30 this Sunday, the 2nd of June, Pemsley Castle Car Park. We'll see you then. Oh, here we go. We're back on. Hello! We're back. <laughs> the lovely Julia has just gone for a nose-blowing session. Apologies about that, but she will be back any second. Sorry, turn up the microphones because it was a bit uh, a bit low level there. 
Um, uh, just quick say hello to somebody who's just popped in for the first time. Where are you? It's Lou Duva. Is it Duva? Is that how you pronounce it, Lou? Uh, lovely to see you. says, finally, I've caught the stream. Whoa! Woo! Lovely to see you, mate. Thanks for coming uh, by. He says, are you able to... Uh, are you a... Are you able to enable Super Chats? It's a way for viewers to send donations with messages to read out on air. Funny enough, we read them all out. Wow. Uh, yes, I do know about those. I haven't dared... When you just really start experimenting with the YouTube thing, um, and we do tend to read out most of the comments anyway, but I guess for a, a, you know, a dollar or a quid or a 50p or whatever it is, we can uh, we can do it, but yes, uh, Lou, fancy yeah, Duva, yes, right, okay, Duva as in duvet day, duvet day, I don't know. Uh, Maggie says, Richard, have you set up a fun thing in me, Bob, for your trips away? Another thing I should have done whilst twiddling my thumbs today. Um, I have got these last two, well, three days before I go, so I want to set up a trips donation fund because, as you know or may be aware, we're going to the seas. The Seven Seas on the Kennet and Avon Canal. We're taken to the water um, in a in a long channel. We're going on a we're going on a narrow boat, which is a bit of a worry for Julia because it's there's not much space, and we're going to take a baby. But where <laughs> where can we get a baby from, Julia? Oh, I wonder. Where, where we? I mean, the whole point is to take a baby with us, not to get away and see the scenery, just to take a little baby, little baby on a canal boat. Hello, you little thick. Oh, blimey, I dropped it. Where'd you go? Splosh. Oh dear. We won't be doing that. We won't be dropping baby over the side to see how deep the I have river to admit, is. I was talking to my husband about um about um flotation devices for the baby. But he's like, just leave it on the boat. <laughs> what, the baby? Yeah. Yeah, leave if it on the... If we have to get off to do any locks or anything, leave it on the boat, he says. Oh, on a papoose? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just don't want to smack baby's head when I'm, if I'm <laughs> doing any winding. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. I just have a feeling that it's going I've just been paranoid, I think, but, you know. No, don't be paranoid. I'll try. Be um, adenoid. Um, I, I have a feeling it's going to go like this. We'll be we'll be chugging along like that. Julie will be here going chug 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 on the tiller. Yeah, yeah. That's the right end of the boat, the tiller. She'll be chugging along like this with her captain's hat on and all that. And um, I'll be somewhere, probably in the galley or something. Is it the galley? Yeah. In the galley, with the little baby, trying to get the milk into it. And I come on. And you'll be going coming up to a lock. Come on. Um, Ship's mate, so ding, 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 ding. so I'll come run it, run it. No doubt you'll have one of those. Uh, stamp. <laughs> what is it they say in there? Uh, full steam ahead. Switch to reverse. I'm looking very nervous when they, they don't have one of those pipes anyway, because you're on the on the tiller. Anyway, up comes up comes you know the skivvy with the little baby, and you'll go. I'm going aboard. Uh, I'm going. I'm I'm going on the land, so then I'll have to get the landing plank. On shore. I'm going on shore, so baby in hand like this. Righto, blow the whistle. She'll go plodding off, over to the um, lock gates, and then I'll come following with the baby and say, "Here we are." And she'll say, "What are you doing? Don't give that to me. Give me the starting handle." Or the canal hand. So you'll be doing all this, you know, all the macho. I love doing that. I know, I know, that's what I mean. And I'll be there playing mumsy with the baby going, shut up, shut up. Ah! Shush, 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 shush. Anyone would think I've Don't stolen Don't tell mum I just bumped your head. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Legs. <laughs> that's what happens. Hello. Whoop. That's what happens if you make a noise. Yeah, no, uh, if Chaz is watching, none of that will be happening. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, so that's that. James, well, go on. SS Hazel, can you say hello to my partner, Graham? He is a big fan of yours. Certainly can. Hello, Graham. Thank you so much for watching. How lovely of you to come by. Thanks for, for spotting it, lovely Julia. <laughs> um, the trouble is, pasta flaps. 
Now, come on, whose name is Pasta Flaps? Love the show. Enjoy the walks, the history and the places that you visit. Strange to see you not being an... A-L-A-I, was it? Ally? 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 Strange to see you not being an ally. Not quite sure. Alien, maybe. An alien? Yeah. Meep, meep. Uh, is me- it supposed to be Pasta Flaps rather than oh. Pasta Flaps? <laughs> But anyway. Anyway, if you've got pasta or pasta flaps, uh, you might want to see a doctor about that. Cheryl says, Julia, are you sure it's a good idea? Oh. Not sure how to answer that. Now, Jeff Killison has made a, a, it's a number three. Yes, we're going to get on to number three. That's true. This is a classic Northwestern holiday candy started by the department store chain Mayer. Meyer. 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 And Frank, Mayor and Fra- Meyer and Frank, and after they went bankrupt, was bought by Macy's and continues to be a holiday tradition, much much loved in the Seattle and Chicago areas. Highly addictive. Please watch the lovely Julia around these in her delicate condition. What could it possibly be? Well, I've got here what we're looking for. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. See if you can find it. Okay. So, uh, whilst that people are guessing, Fiona Cooper is watching, says Dean Cooper in capital letters. Thanks for that. That's uh, useful to know. Cheryl says, Julia, are you sure it's a good idea? Yeah. What, going on the canal boat with the Vobi one-eyed Kenobi and a baby? What could go wrong? What could go... Don't, don't even tempt fate. Don't even tempt fate. Found them. Do you want them out already? Yeah, let's see what they are. Oh, my good... Oh, my goodness. Frango. Wow. Mint chocolates and assorted chocolates. This is and another b- bag of assorted. My god. That I'm I am overwhelmed. I'm so nervous about what's going to come out of the box next. Do you like mint chocolate? Well, typically I only usually like after eight mints. Oh right. So this does smell quite similar. So did he say they're addictive or something? He said, uh, what did you say there? Highly addictive. Yes, please watch the lovely Julia around in her delicate condition. I am funny with with chocolate, though, you know. I like to I like to hoard chocolate so that it's there when I need it. Do you like to eat it? Yeah. So, But rarely will I eat it. I think lot. we should open... We've got to open one of these. So I, maybe the assorted ones? Yeah. Or the mint ones? Sorted gives you more choice. I'll give you the choice. You can have sea salt caramels, caramel chocolate, dark chocolates... Toffee crunch chocolate, raspberry dark chocolate, or that again. All the same again. <laughs> and to make life very easy, uh, I have here a pair Ooh. of skizzers. Oh. I get Julia to do all the action stuff because I'm not uh, insured with my hands. Or rather, I'm not sure what happens when I use my hands. So there we go. Go. Um, well, Kevin Hall says the ship's captain he will not make. No, I don't think I shall make the ship's captain. Thanks for that. Robert says I predict a riot or a cow dropped over him by a disgruntled local farmer, i.e. Alan Parge- Partridge. Yeah, could be. Uh, Claire Leach says I can see Mr. Vogue feeding the baby with a bottle and burping him. Yes, can you see that? Did you that? I had to do it with my three, you know, when they were much younger. I don't do it with them now so much. Uh, Victoria's Tot and Tails finally worked out how to find you on YouTube. Hello, Victoria. Tot and Tails. Yes, Totten, not Totten. Uh, it's just uh, my. Oh my lord! Look at these, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that is amazing. Well, I'm hoping they're going to taste amazing. I've had Hershey's and they were foul. So let's. I'm hoping that they're not like uh, Hershey's. Um, so these have been sent for those who just joined us. One of our lovely supporters, Jeff. Kellison has sent a what's in the box and it's from America and it's a massive box of some beautiful things. We've got some marvellous books and now we've got these amazing assortments of chocolates and the lovely Jura and I are going to try them on, uh, you know, your behalf. So, so I guess sea salt one. these must... Um, you turn it around to the other side. These yeah. must so that's equate. that's the way around they are. So yeah. sea salt, the sea salt caramel. chocolate, caramel. Dark chocolate, yeah, that makes sense. Toffee, Toffee crunch, crunch chocolates, chocolates or raspberry. raspberry dark chocolate. They've got salt on them as well. Well, it may have, you know, jumbled yeah. in the post. True. So what are you going to go for? A raspberry one, I think. A raspberry toffee crunch. I'm going to try the toffee crunch. They come in their delightful little... little um, cases. Pillow ca- pillow cases. Little cases. Little cases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is like that. Turn your ears out. Uh, yeah. You can... 
So these are lovely. <laughs> well, they look nice. <laughs> I'm so hope they taste nice. Ooh. And they do. Well, this one does. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Very tasty, but I'm not having a great day with my stomach, so I'm oh, not yeah. eat anymore. Oh yeah. No, no, fair dues. If you can't eat it. I'm feeling <laughs> the colour drain from my face as we speak. Oh dear, really? Mm. If you need to run away. I will, don't you worry. Because she was a bit suffers with a lot of uh, sickness and she she popped right. Hyperemesis gravid. Della, oh, yeah, it yeah, it's a, it's a condition. That is so kind. That is so kind. Mint chocolate. Oh, well, I think we're going to have to keep some of these on the shelf here, so that when guests come in, we offer them a frango. Very, very tasty though. Thank you so much, Jeff. This is really, this is really so kind. Gosh, uh, and don't forget, if you want to send us chocolates or um, hordes of cash, then don't forget you can just send it in a big envelope bigger than a shoebox and uh, make sure it arrives <laughs> as soon as possible um veg grower podcast richard Suggett says he's uh, not paying much attention because he's cooking on his barbecue at the moment this is hardly barbecue yeah. weather um yeah but this is Suggett. oh it is Suggett. he goes out in all weathers to do it dean cooper says julia do you crave chocolate at all have you craved chocolate during your pregnancy not really not really no i don't, don't have I haven't really had any cravings as such, just just craving to eat. Just crave, yeah, you, mm. you've had so it. I've struggled with the... Um, and then the some days you can't thing. eat. Some days it just is no point because... It comes straight back up, Yeah, which is awful. Or it hurts here, it hurts belly, you know. And mm. baby doesn't exactly like it either. No, I can imagine. Cheryl says, uh, I was talking to Kevin and saying, yes, that there's uh, talking about the music on... Uh, uh, this is the only thing about uh, YouTube. It's very difficult to talk to each other privately because it all comes up. So there you go. Uh, John Berger says, you love Hershey's. You're a liar. <laughs> no, no, you can't say that now because if you say to anybody that they're a liar, you can end up in court like Boris Johnson at the moment. So uh, you can't, you know, you've got to be careful when you call somebody a liar. Now, the whole everything's changing here. Um, Robert Croser says, uh, stop the rain, Suggett. It's pissing down up here. Yeah, I hope it stops for when uh, when I come back up to Cumbria. Oh, mustn't say it because Julia will get very upset. Because I'm leaving her behind this time. John says, uh, I live 20 miles from Hershey and I'm not fond of their chocolate either. No, it's, it's a very straight... I mean, there's just... Do you know what's weird? I did go through a phase of really liking the Hershey's Kisses. Really? Mm-hmm. What? What were they like? Were they chocolate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the normal, you know, the, their version of milk chocolate. But in the shape of a kiss? That. Not a kiss. It's more like a poodle. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, there we are. And you had yeah. a phase of loving them. Yeah. Yeah. Get me that poo drop. Uh, it would be very <laughs> Get nice. Get them poo drops in you. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Kevin says he's sorry to have chatted. No, that's all right. It's just it's difficult, as you know. It's difficult to, to see the comments at the best of times. Right, what have we got? We got we got more. We we better crack he's through got these. More. Uh, number four is a candy. Another candy. So poor old Julia can't look at this. Uh, made in. I thought that said cashmere then, but it doesn't say cashmere. Oh, Julia's going to read it because she knows I'm. It's right. cas cashmere. Cashmere is it? Yeah. Casimir, um in Washington, in America, as opposed to... We have a Washington just five miles from where we sit. A much-loved Northwest tradition. And it's... Uh -huh. Do you know what they are? No, but I've seen them in here. Oh, right. Ba, 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 I have not ba, looked in the box. Ba, ba. So this is really... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> There's so much. This is so outrageous. So what are these, then? Oh, these are the fruit candies. Fruit candies? Mm, my dad would love them. Oh. Does your dad like fruit candies? He does. He mm. likes jellied fruit and things. Mm. Well, he's mm. not having them. No, uh, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> that was satisfying. I'm going to do yeah. it again. Yeah. Dunk. <laughs> They're all stuck together, though. Oh, wait. There's a pair of skizzers here. Yeah, yeah, but that's not going to help. I think just... Yeah, because there's sellotape here, look. There's sellotape on the ends, of yeah. course. It felt like they were stuck in the middle. I've got no excuse. So what we got? We've got applets. What are applets and cotlets? Well, 
I think it's ap uh, oh, apples, apples and, and, and um, apricots. apricots. Oh, here we are. This is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Applets and cotlets. Very interesting for our British audience who may not have seen these sort of things before. We've got Berry... Oh, Berry Delight. Can we open those? Berry Delight. The Story of Liberty Orchard's Fine Candies is on the back here. Hmm. And Fruit Delights. Fine fruit and nut candies. Oh, there's a lot of nuts out there. It says, at the beginning of the 20th century, our founders, Mark Babylon... And Armand Trevescastin, she could be Balaban, Jimmy. Mark Balaban. Yes, and his mate Terska Skagadin arrived in America and made their way to the Vale of Kashmir in, in an orchard country of Washington State. There they purchased an apple farm and named it Liberty Orchards in honour of their honour without a U, I notice, of their new homeland. Soon they were producing more apples than they could sell. And they had the idea to squish them and chop them up and make them into funny little fruit things, which they called candy ablets and this, that and the other. They've been selling so well for the last 256,000 years that now we're going to offset some of them to the British audience and put them on the Vogue show so they can enjoy them. And I think that's a nice story. You, oh, you're opening that one. Well, it was already kind of open. Oh, no, we okay. can... Whoa! It's got Ice fine cubes. powder all over me. Oh, yeah, that'll be the, uh, <laughs> the cashmere powder. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Now fairy I've... dust. Yeah, fairy dust. That's Think feel like happy a... thoughts. Oh, yummy. Oh, yep. Just trying to keep you anchored down yeah, so sorry. you don't fly off out the window. Frank's Cheryl. Frank's Cheryl, uh, you love Hershey. Oh, read all that. Blah, 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 blah. No wonder they're mostly a beast, says Robert Crowe. <laughs> Shush, don't say that. Don't say now, that. Now, now. Now, Oh. I've got the oof. The oof. The uh, whiff. Whiff. The, the oomph. That's cute, isn't it? That's very cute. But show them this. I'll show them this. Here they are. They do like having them all in military fashion, lined up, ready on parade. Uh, these are Liberty Orchards. So, now, do you think you're able to try one? Um. Or will you have to rush off? I don't know. Um. Shall I try one for you? Yeah, I think you should try one. I'm going to try that one. No idea what it is. Let's see if I can get it's, it's a jelly. It's, well, it's a fruit and nut. It's a, oh, it's a fruit and nut, is it? Yeah, these are the fruit and nut. Was it orange and almond, or was it pineapple and macadamia? I don't know. It's in my mouth. It's a peach and walnut. It's... It's very nice. No, it's in your mouth. Mm. Have a sniff. It? And actually, it's not too sweet. It is sweet, but it's not, you know, sickly sweet. That's peach and walnut. Yeah, peach and walnut. They're very tasty. I like them. Has it got palm oil in it? Everything has palm <laughs> oil these days, isn't it? Don't know, actually. Mmm, they are exquisite. The next few... Gluten-free, dairy-free and vegan. No artificial colours or flav uh, flavours or colours. No cholesterol and low in sodium. No saturated fats or trans fats. A third less calories than chocolate. Wow. There you go. So none of all those trans fats. Are they fats that were once male and now want to be female? Is that satisfying? Yeah. Just ask... <laughs> I wonder if they have to have trans fats bathrooms. Special pl anyway. Um, I was just looking. No, there isn't any. Um, there isn't any what? Palm oil. Palm oil. No, that was, was just a joke. Yeah, I know. I was looking anyway. Grand. Well, fruit delights. Because I'm gullible. <laughs> they're, they're, they're delight. They are delightful. Very nice. I guess they're quite healthy then. <clears throat> mm. Yes. It, 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 yeah. So, uh, Jeff, this is amazing. I have to say, this is amazing. We played in the Steve Pilfold thing, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. So don't forget to come along on the uh, Steve Pilfold special walk on the Bald Explorer uh, group, walking group thing, on this Sunday at uh, 10.30 at Pevensey Car Park. I can't wait. Looking forward to going. Good. Good. Right, where's my list of... Uh... We, we missed last month's walk because we were in Cumbria. Yeah, hey, if we can't make a walk, doesn't mean to say you can't go. Yeah, that was really disappointing. Yeah, we're so angry about it. Well, angry is a bit harsh. Yeah, but... angry is too harsh. But what... Disappointed? Yeah, we we were violently ill about it. Have I made that point too much? 
Let's we, get on with it. We had a bit of a sad moment, didn't we? Right, number five. This is something from Corning, California, and what and is what they are known for, and all intrepid explorers, bald or not, would stop there for these items from Corning, California. It must be corn something, you would think, but it is number five. Do you know what it is? Yeah, that's what I'm grabbing. All that's right. That's what I thought. I wouldn't have said so because I would have probably been wrong. Oh, my. Um... Get them out to show them. Yeah, get them out. Have the scissors, please. Yes, of course. Oop. Just Down. whack the uh, mouse over. Sorry, little mouse. It's all right. I'll get the RSPCA on you. Oh, there we are. Peter, Peter, so Peter. these are jars. I know what it says on here, but I'm going to let you do the big reveal. Jeff, are you still there? This is amazing. You, what a, what an absolute star you, you are. You the whole show for us. Thanks. I, I know. Not only that, we're going to be munching on these for the next 20 years. Garlic Queen olives oh now i have to i make a confession here i'm not an olive fan i have to admit neither am i so um not really sure what we could do about it uh, but i might try one if i open it i don't want to ruin it because um there may be somebody who does like olives who uh, we could gift that on the show maybe mr suckett can come up with a recipe that we shove olives in i have the one without olives and he i don't know he i think he likes olives garlic Queen olives. So these are really, really nice, though. I mean, oh, olive pit chow no chow. Queen olives, but that one's yeah, that was different. Olive pit chow chow. So I guess that is that olives that have been mashed up with some extra stuff like yeah, um, looks, carrots. Kind of looks like a chutney almost, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It, it almost looks like something that um, our dear friend from the. Um, Regency Townhouse. Oh, yes, Paul Might Couchman. In his... Uh, That's true, yes. In his preserves. In his preserves. Um, larder. Well, I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, so there we go. That's that's something from Corning, California. And all intrepid explorers, bald or not, would go there for them. Well, um, that's a bit of history and some knowledge. Thanks so much, Jeff. Don't know what to do, really, there, because um, I'm not a great lover of Cornwall. That's not what I wanted to say. That's not what you were trying to say. Garlic. Not garlic. <laughs> well, are they? Olives. 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 Uh, finally, let's do the last one then that's in the okay. box. This one hints for item number six. A much-loved candy from our childhood. Basically unchanged and still delicious. I wonder if John Berger can get that. John, are you, st are you still out there, John? Here we go. Can you guess what this is? A much-loved candy from your childhood. Basically unchanged and still delicious. And it's in, must be in that box. What's that? Oh, there's one more thing. California poppies? Oh, that must come from California. What? Poppies from California. Sunshine from the Golden State. Everything you need to plant a whole patch. Oh, wow. Oh, seeds. Oh, wow. We will get those poppy seeds planted. I hope that won't affect the British um, bio system. But anyway, we'll shove them in your garden. Well, not... Yeah. Or somewhere. I'm saying that yeah, we yeah. will. I mean, <laughs> it's up to you, obviously. But there it, yeah. Oh, how interesting. I like California. It'd be nice to have a piece of California in my garden. Abs there we go. Piece of California and some poppies, so we've got to do that. Now we've got here something from Prime. Ah, uh, the show has just improved, no end. No, 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 don't be silly. <laughs> oh, so, uh, has John Berger guessed anything? No, John is, uh, I don't think John's there anymore. Jeff, I've got my own group live show going up. Do you fancy chucking me some free food, says Mark Selwood, you cheeky bugger. Jeff sent you his weekly shop. Yes, I know. It is It is a bit bizarre. So, here we go. Much love food candy do, from do, our do, childhood. Do, 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 we, do we want a, um, before you tell what it is, yeah. are you about to, do we want to give a, a clue? Has anyone tried to guess? No, nobody seems to have guessed. Well, it's handmade milk chocolate coated marshmallow with cashews. I thought John Berger might know because he's, he's American. Are handmade there... marshmallow, co marshmallow coated with dark chocolate topped with sea salt and cashews. And that's just the two different ones. I think we're going to have to show them. Are we still on air? I suppose we are. Oh yeah, there we're still, we're still there. there. Um, 
Jeff has sent you his week. Oh no, the Vobes is going to spread his seeds. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Cheeky Ooh, monkey. Missed Ooh, uh, misses. Right, so here we go. These are the much loved candy from our childhood, basically unchanged and still delicious. And there's a whole box load of them. Rocky Road. Do you know what? They're not what I imagined them to be because we've got we've got a little like biscuit coated with chocolate. Like I say, coated. It's really chunky chocolate. So we call it the Rocky Bars. I always thought they were something similar. So this is interesting. Learn something new every day. So which one am I going to open? Uh, which one do you want? The original? Just the one with cashews or the sea salt with cashews? Uh, not so keen on the sea salt. Try that one. I might like the sea salt. Ham. So it says it's handmade milk chocolate. Handmade. Is it really handmade? Uh, do they get a big load of pygmies in from somewhere? No, uh, midgets, sorry. And uh, make them on a handmade conveyor belt? What an amazing gift, says uh, Barbara Charles. Yeah. So this is what it looks, it does look actually handmade. <laughs> now you show it to me. Uh, it, it really does. Hang on, i just got to move this thing here. Uh, there we go. So I'm guessing you don't want to try any of this. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get all of this into my mouth. So this is marshmallow. <coughs> Just the sound of it in your mouth. Silence there, ladies and gentlemen. Almost. Oh. It stopped me from talking. Cool, blimey, it's very sweet. Oh, my God. Cool, blimey. Does uh, Chaz like sweet things? That is... I don't know if he likes marshmallow, though. Mm. That is very... Is that too much for you? Did you get beat by the uh, rocky road? It's, you know, at first you think, oh, that's really quite nice. And then suddenly it's rich. Mm. What we would call very, very rich. So you could you could take nibbles of that. You know, I I'd, I'd, would enjoy that in the same size of these other sweets. Mm. Huh. Oh, struth. So it says that he was going to suggest he could cook with them. Oh, what those? Oh, right. Well, we'll keep them here, and we'll um, we'll get you on, and we'll do a do a recipe with them. That would be interesting. I want to, you know, um, maybe yeah, we can we'll use them. Mm, or, um, or they've give... been very kindly donated. Absolutely, sent in. definitely use them, and then maybe with the one one of the bottles, we could uh, do a, a a gift to one special listener. You know, otherwise they'll sit on my shelf and look pretty. Who of the viewers tonight likes olives? Yeah, just as a matter of interest, who does like olives? Who Who is a, a great olive eater and who is uh, not an olive? Put your hand up if you don't eat olives as a rule. What if you... Uh, hands up if you don't eat olives as a tape measure. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Cheryl says, I, would, I wouldn't have guessed any of those things. Very generous box, though. Yes, absolutely. So, Jeff, thank you so much. Claire and Robert love olives. Oh, Claire, um, Claire and what do you say? Robert. Claire and Robert. Fetch them up here. I will bring one up, Robert, because you're showing me around. Jeff will appreciate right. that. One aside for Robert. Um, for Robert. Yeah, because, uh, you know, Jeff will appreciate the videos that we do up in Cumbria. You're showing me around. So as a special gift, uh, we'll bring one up to you. If that's all right, Jeff, if that's OK, if Jeff's still there, that would be great. Um Whoa. Yeah, no olives. My mam's my mam's name was Olive. Ah, oh, it's a Anne. lovely name. It's a beautiful name. I do. It like is a beautiful it. name. Uh, Claire Leach says especially Kalamata olives. I don't know what Kalamata means. What's the matter with Kalamata? Are they? Is that a region? Presumably, that's a region. Anyway, listen. I th I think we may have done an hour of our lives. No, oh yes, I read that. I love Olive says, uh, what's the name, Charles? I don't know why I'm looking for my phone. It's Just it? feed them to the guests with crackers and cheese. Easy peasy. Oh, right. Maggie says, I love garlic stuff, Olives, the most. I couldn't stand Olive for years. Kept trying them from time to time, and now I love them. So it's an acquired yeah, taste, it's, is it? It's not garlic um, stuffed, but you can see the bits of garlic. Bits of garlic the in there. So is it, are they Turn pickled? Yes. Yeah. So I wonder if they're different when they're pickled mm -hmm. than from when they're um, fresh. You know, like uh, you get a cucumber and you stick it into a, a load of vinegar and it becomes a gherkin. Kind of, you know, sort of. 
that kind of thing. Uh, I'm sure I've got a pair of Rosettas somewhere. My mum's names. Yeah, yeah. a jar of ros Rosettas. Never felt the need to eat olives, says Mark Selwood. Don't worry, I won't be bringing them down. <laughs> yeah, no, the texture of them I can't get past. It even, yeah, I don't know why. It's a bizarre thing. Kevin says the show has gone so quickly. It, it has. Is, it is. That is the nature of the business, I'm afraid. Uh, leave them wanting more. Now, my plan is to bring back the show twice a week, but not quite yet. I've got a number of these trips um, so I'm going to be away. Busy, 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 busy man. Yeah. So I'm trying to make all these lovely videos out and about exploring, which is the main thing. Do love doing this. This has been fantastic, you know, to have all these things thrown at us and yeah. to try and taste. And it's been also really some, fun. And we're going to do some cooking, Excellent. cooking from the cookbook. And I'll read the uh, the hobby horse, whatever it's called, the half river horse. horse, river horse, river horse. And let you know about that. Um, twice a week, super news. Yeah, no, that is the plan. I, I would like to do that, particularly in the winter. I think in the winter, might even do three shows a week in the winter because it's, it's, you know, it's cold, isn't it? Mm. But at the moment, with all What's these... What's that got to do with it, though? Well, it's cold and dark and people are in and they're bored. I don't know what to do with themselves. They need a Vobi to have a go be at. Yeah, but you're still in the winter. You're still trying to put out a video every day. Yes, that's true. Now, how How is that going to change the whole... Putting too much on yourself again. I forgot thing. Julia's part of the senior management team, and um, I'm being dressed down. You're right. I'm only looking looking out no, for your no, welfare. No. Yes, no, it's, it's true. I, I I'm just suggesting it to see if people go. No, no, no. Three shows is too much. They're Please not going only do to do one. that because we all enjoy watching you. So they're all going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three shows is great, but you can't keep doing that to yourself. No, but um, probably I'll keep doing one show a week for now because I'm actually enjoying the time off. Uh, in the evenings but we will get to two shows at some point but we've got um Cornwall next week then in about t three weeks I think I'm I'm up to Cumbria I've got the Peak District in July with Kevin and then there's a couple of months and then we're on our river Hello, cruise morning. around um around Italy so uh, on the Italian Riviera on Venice, we're in Venice. You do have in a, a way with words, don't in you? In a, in a, in a, you know, what's it? Gondola. Give me Cornetto, give it to me, delicious ice cream from the Canton Avon Canal. Chug, 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 chug. Here, feed the baby. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be a very strange trip. Poor old Julia. Seven days on a canal with her lovely baby and uh, and another baby <laughs> that's oversized. It's going to be hell. But um, hey-ho. My dear friend, Ricard. Yes. <laughs> so there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Seward says, My mum says you're not allowed in my house, unfortunately. What? Uh, what? Is that something about having strange men around? Is that, well, that's a, that's a shame. Where are we going to go then for that cup of tea? I'll knock on your door and we'll go out, will we? That's, I used to have a friend like that when I was a kid. You know, you used to go knock on your kid's friend's door. Perhaps they don't do that anymore, too busy on their screens. But when I was a kid, you know, you used to run across the road because your friends didn't have mobile phones back then. You couldn't text them and say, here, you're coming out, mate. You had to go around and go, is Christopher in? And uh, they'd say, oh, yes, Christopher's in. Wait here. And you'd wait. And then he'd come to the door and he'd say, oh, yeah. I'd say, you coming out to play? And he'd go, oh, yeah, all right. I'll just get my shoes. Don't come in. And I was never allowed in. <laughs> it was like, don't come in. It's like, why? What's going And of course, then you want to go in, don't you? You go, hello. What's going on there then? Is there an orgy going on or something? I must see. I really. Well, you knew about orgies when you were that age, did you? I don't know about orgies now, let alone when I was that age. <laughs> what is an orgy? Well, it's a big, very large bloke, Shh, isn't it? No. It's a big, what? big bloke with hair and. There was um, oh. one fee five oh, like fo shiny coins and stuff. Fee five fo fum. Mm. I smell the blood of a. That's an orgy, is it? Oh no, that's an ogre. Oh. Damn! I don't know what an orgy is. Then is that an order of something? Anyway, I think we've said that word too many times already. What orgy? <laughs> oh gee, it's nice to see you. Come in, G. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the show. Next week will be in Cornwall. I will try and do a live show from Cornwall, but I can't guarantee it, but we'll try and do something. We tried when I was down in um, Dorothy, 
and there isn't Dorset there. They don't really talk like that because that's more like Somerset way. But anyway, uh, it's sort of West, isn't it? That'll do. Um, and I'll be down there in Cornwall, which uh, I, I can't do a Cornish accent because Mark's watching and he'll uh, he'll batter me over the head. But um, that will be very good. So um, I can persuade her, don't worry, says Mark, to let you in for a nice cup of tea. That'd be lovely. Dean says, well, good night. Back to the Great Escape movie. Catch you soon. Oh, by the way, in the Great Escape movie, just in case you didn't know, Steve McQueen gets killed. He tries to get out on his motorbike and um, stupidly he uh, he fails. Uh, just so I'll let you know. That's a spoiler alert there. And the Veg Grower podcast says, I had a friend once. And it's very nice to know. Thanks, Richard. Uh, oh, he said, I had a friend who always had to knock on the back door. Never really understood. It always felt... Roof, rude, probably. Rude. Yes. Who understood why? Here. Oh, can you? Are you coming out? No, no, not coming out to the people who knock on the back door. It's tradesmen's entrance, don't you know? Love the show, says Deborah Martin. But Julia is right. About what? About not having too many shows. Oh, oh, it's, oh, about not too many shows. Yes, that's probably true. Thanks very much. Uh, that's Deborah, as in Debbie. Debbie Martin, I've just clicked. Nikki wants me to chuck you down a mine shaft. <laughs> I'll get that, Nikki. I'll get her. You do that. You'll have big answering to do's. And Lou says, uh, the counties of West Country, from best to worse, go on. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Robert Croce says, my son plays mine shaft. Oh, does he? <laughs> well, I... Nikki means Minecraft. It's a uh... funny joke. John Berger says, oh, oh, there you are, John. We were talking about it. Did you know what these um, rocky roads are? Have you tried those rocky roads? Sweeter than sweet and neater than neat. He says, oh, come on. The movie was just released in 1963 and now you've ruined it. The next thing you know, you'll be telling us what happens in the boat Titanic. I'll let you into a little secret with Titanic. It's if, a ship. It It's a ship movie. What? I, I mean, it's... it's You take that either way. I've never se- I've not actually seen the you've film. You've not? Oh. Not not the recent. I saw a black and white one. Oh, that was that was dreadful. Well, oh, was it, there was there another one? There was a much earlier one in black and white. Oh, oh made in about the fifties. But it was terrible because instead of getting across the Atlantic, the bloody boat hit an iceberg. Mm. I hope they had better luck with the rerun. Otherwise, do you know, do you know in in America somewhere there is actually a um <clears throat> a theme park, a Titanic theme park. No, that is sick. I think it's gross. It's that is, awful. there's a theme park. I mean, there's one thing to, you know, to like... All about the Titanic, learn come about on, children. the physics of what went wrong. There we but... are, sir. How many children do you want to get rid of? Oh, actually, yeah, put there, them there on are here. some interesting things, though. They, 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 like, they eat, you know, they dine like, you know, not like a servant. No. The very Regency townhouse. They're like... But they, they dine like the um, passengers would have and stuff like that. There's some really nice things about it. So they eat very rich food. Well, no, 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 no. The, the, the actual recipes and stuff that had been oh, used on the boat. Yeah, yeah. Ship. It's a ship. On the ship. The deck the is Titanic, above water. Yeah. It's a ship. And as they're eating it, they find that the someone's let the swimming pool in. Yeah. And the kids, you know, they can't swim or anything, and they're going, glug, 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 and... That's something else I heard recently. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Princess Diana. Yes, heard about her. She t- had a car crash. That's yeah, another spoiler yeah. alert. Her, her, her. She wasn't know, even driving. That whole, you know, the, the, her death is actually part. Has been. It's now an exhibit in uh, in another American, um, like museum uh, theme park type thing, and I just thought it was really awful. Well, so it was like that. What the actual crash? They've got like a sculpture of the crash with well, Diane's apparently, head apparently they've done it sticking really, out of a window really, and a leg know, over here and a guts. Apparently they've done it really respectfully, tastefully. but I still think it's pretty damn awful. I mean, gosh, her sons are still yeah struggling with that. And imagine if they've got surround sound there as well, and you go in and all you're hearing is look out, look out, <laughs> look out, look out. <laughs> Played well, over and over me again. And my over opinionatedness. My no, God. no, I think that'd be uh, be awful, <laughs> especially if they put you in a car with Lady Diana, no. and you're pretending to be Dodie, yeah. Dodie fired, and he's all fired up because there's a brick wall coming towards him rather fast. This is a bit macabre. Glad you mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, we always end the show on a high note, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, and a bum one tonight. That may have been <laughs> the latter. <laughs> um, so there we go. Um, oh, apparently, there's a museum at Falmouth on Titanic. Here oh. Oh, the museum a, on on the Titanic. Yes, mu- that's great. The museum, yeah, with with bits of you know a dead theme park? body that's been a put theme on. Theme park. A theme park. Yeah, you anyway. play the captain. Steer around the iceberg. Oh look, there's an iceberg. 
dun, 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 dun. They'd obviously, you know, speed it up for the children so they make it a bit more interesting with lots of sounds. Perhaps have a few sharks in there, mix in a bit of Jaws. <laughs> oh, no! And then, you know, perhaps we'll have a few stormtroopers coming in who, uh, or, or that bloke from, um, who was it, the one who uh, who played the Iceman? Was it uh, some, um, what's it, uh, st- st- not Stallone, the other one. In, in uh, He turned everybody to ice, one of those Marvel comics, Mr. Mr. And they fought him. Anyway, he could be there with his ice machine. Was it? Um, I don't know. I start reading the, the comments for yeah. one moment and I completely lose track of what he's on about. So oh. anyway, there we are. The chief engineers buried near Brampton. I did oh, offer wow. to show you both, said Robert Crowser. You did, actually. But... Um, we did. We weren't interested. We thought it was very boring. We didn't. We didn't. What was it? He was the we chief. What the chief engineer? Was he buried with? Um, was he like a bit like Scott? Was he going? I can he hold it, Captain? I can he hold it? It's a reference Bell, to Bell. Star Trek, there, ladies and gentlemen. Just in case you didn't know, you yes. know the original version, the best version, the only version worth watching. Linda from... Cadman says, "Is Julia coming on the walk on Sunday?" Yes, I am. She's coming on the waddle. That's me waddling. Yeah, she does the. She does a great impression of um, what was his name? Meredith. What's his name? As the penguin in Batman, the nineteen sixties series. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we finished the show ages ago. If you're still here, you shouldn't be. Go and make yourselves a nice cup of tea and a bit of Rosalie, and uh, get yourself, if you can, some uh, Nobby's nuts. <laughs> Nobby's nuts, <laughs> meant to taste like the real thing, only these taste of chili. It's really annoying because I love Nobby's nuts. <laughs> Don't tell your husband. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. He knows. Oh, he knows. He knows. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute joy. Thanks so much to Jeff for these wonderful gifts and things. It's been so And to good. Linda. And to Linda, of course, for Nobby's nuts. <laughs> I hope poor... I can just imagine poor old Nobby, Linda, going up to him going, Here, are you Nobby? Yeah, sorry, Linda, if that's a bad impression of you. But your neighbours might say that just sounds like you. And uh, you go up to um, Nobby and you go, Here, just a moment, love. <coughs> oh, oh, I've got to send these to the boobs. High-pitched voice? Yeah. Sorry about that. You Sorry about you it. You get loud with it too. Anyway, good night, everyone. Take care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Wednesday, hopefully, from uh, somewhere in court. I say we. It might be Mark Selwood. It's a royal we. You use the royal we a lot. Mark Selwood, we'll try and get you on the show in the evening on the Wednesday. How about that? If we've got internet, somehow we'll make it work. Shiny faces? Is my face shiny? I put powder on. Maybe it's mine that's shiny. She's made me panic now. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway, enough of this uh, gay banter. Lovely to see you. Thanks for coming uh, along and we'll catch up with you in the future. Until then, good. Oh, I've got the music thing to put in, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Goodbye. (laughs)